pipe critic. Say, pipe, let's talk of love. Canst aid me? By my life, I'll ask not gods above to help me choose a wife. But to thy gentle self, I'll give the puzzling strife. Thy color, let me find. The blue, like smoke, her eyes. A healthy store her mind, as that which in thee lies, an evanescent, evanescent draft, evanescent draft, whose incense mount the skies, and pipe, like a breath like thine, a breath like thine, her hair in amber gold, and wrought in shapes as fine, as that which I now hold, a grace in every limb, her form thy slender mold. And when her lips I kiss, oh, may she <laughs> like thee, and strive to give me bliss, a comforter to be. When friends wax cold, time fades, and all departs from me. That was called the pipe critic. Don't have an author for it. Thought it was an appropriate poem to read. Nice um, metaphor from between your pipe and a beautiful woman. It's Valentine's Day this week, so I, I thought it was appropriate. Hope you're doing well. Having a good week. It's been actually about two weeks, I think, since my last video. I'm trying to stay warm out here. It's not too bad. It's high 30s, but a little breezy. Last couple days, it's actually been in the 40s and 50s, so I got spoiled. Came out here with a lighter jacket on, enjoyed my pipe, and it was sunny one day. Now it's back to cooler temperatures, but what are you going to do? It is still wintertime. Can't wait for spring, though. Looking forward to it to come out here regularly and... Enjoy my pipe. Probably be doing videos more often once it's cool, or once it's warmer, and I'm out here more regularly. I uh, working on a couple of videos. At least thinking about April for me is four years since I started seriously pipe smoking. I started years ago, but not seriously. Not regularly would be a better way to phrase it, but April will be four years. And during that time, I've tried a little over 200 blends. And I rate them all, and I kind of keep track of which are my favorites. Back in year one, I think I did a favorite video, a video of my favorites that I had, of the ones I had tried at that point. I think I broke them down by my favorite Virginias, Englishes, Vapors, that sort of thing. I'm going to do a revisited of my favorites. I think I'll also do a revisited of my favorite pipes. I have about two dozen pipes, roughly. I'm one of those people that classifies like this certain pipe goes for this type of blend. You know, I have a few pipes that are for Virginias, a few for Vapors, a few for Kentucky blends. This one here is my favorite pipe, but you see me smoke it a lot. And this I just smoke St. Bruno Ready Rubbed out of, or St. Bruno which is my favorite blend.
But if you've watched me for any length of time, you've heard me say that many times. This is a Radice Briar Blues Pipe of the Year 2019. So, watch out for those videos. Again, it probably won't happen until it's a little warmer out. I'm out here more often. Other than that, let's see, I've <clears throat> just been really busy the last few weeks been working a lot of hours really crazy busy but it's a good problem to have I uh, wanted to thank all of you who watched my last video I asked for prayers specifically for my friend Luke and my and his family he uh has been battling cancer for a year. He, uh, at the time of my video, he had just gone into hospice. He did unfortunately pass away and his funeral was this past Thursday, I think, or Friday. Please continue to keep praying for him though, because he was young. 45, six kids, great guy. On a more positive note related to cancer at least. <laughs> They just bark a lot. Sorry, somebody's going to go to my daughter out. You're, you're fine. <laughs> they bark a lot, but they don't bite. Um, what was I saying? On a more positive note related to cancer, I had my checkup this week doctor's appointments not for my recent seizures that appointment is next week with a neurologist but I had a checkup at the cancer hospital and um, this past week was also four years for me since I've been had finished my cancer treatments and had my major cancer surgery from uh, my last bout of cancer and um, every all my checkups were good. Blood work was good. I am still cancer free. So thank God for that. Definitely blessed. I'm grateful for that. Can't help but feel sad for those that have been not been nearly as fortunate as I have. I've had cancer twice, two different kinds of cancer, and beaten both. So, I'm very fortunate. But many, many haven't been. Um, what else? There's one, oh, one more thing I wanted to add. This video is almost 10 minutes long, so I don't want to ramble too long. This is the start of, this week is the start of Lent. Ash Wednesday is Wednesday. It's a great time to reflect. I know a lot of people give up things or add things to their, like, pray more or give up sacrifices, foods or whatever, sweets or something. But it's a great f time to kind of reflect and make a concerted effort to grow in your faith, grow in your, rela grow in your relationship to God. 
I watched earlier today a video that Chad uh, Yardism did yesterday on being thankful for specific things in their lives, in, your, in all of our lives. It was a great video, so check that out if you haven't. It's a great time, though, during Lent as we prepare for Easter to think about what we're grateful for, like me and my health, being cancer-free, having a job that I'm busy is great, you know? It's a good job, busy, my family, my faith. So, anyway, I'm kind of rambling and... I'm just gonna get back to my pipe. But you guys have a good time. Hope you, those of you that celebrate it and are Christian, you know, celebrate Lent and take the time. Next few weeks to prepare for Easter. Today is also Super Bowl Sunday. Enjoy the game today if you are. I just, this year I kind of am just going to watch for the commercials. And we always have lots of junk food and snacks and stuff, which is fun. I have once in a while. So take care. Enjoy. God bless, <clears throat> God bless all of you. Stay safe, happy, healthy. Until next time. Enjoy. Bye.